What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's so great seeing each and every single one of you once again. Today is a little bit special. It's my birthday and we're doing a birthday special today. We're throwing it all the way back. Back in 2020 lockdown, I made some Jamaican patties. They're a lot of work, but sit back, relax and enjoy how I make my easy Jamaican beef patties. Step number one is our dough. I'm making heaps, all right? I'm making a lot. So going in with our flour, a little bit of turmeric and curry powder for color, and just give it a mix around. You need one of these food processors. It just makes it way easier. A cup of flour in, and go in with your super cold butter. You can use your your hands and your fingers, but bro, that's a lot of work. As a result, you can still see these lots of large chunks of butter. That's what we want. Adding all of that into the flour. And just mix it in. Next is milk. And we just want to mix this until it just comes together. Also, we want to keep everything super cold. And so I'm just bringing it together ensuring all the flour crumbs are hydrated you can see look how much dough there is it's gonna make so many delicious patties i'm not really working it too hard i'm just getting everything clumped together you got to be careful not to over knead the dough you over knead it you activate the gluten the gluten makes it more like bready a little bit more tough instead of soft delectable buttery deliciousness so it's more or less shaped now so i'm just gonna cover it into the fridge cool down let it relax let it just do its thing 30 minutes my vegetables here which is onion ginger green capsicum a load of garlic and some baby peppers because it's almost impossible trying to source scotch bonnet or habanero in New Zealand so that's what I have we're gonna work with that we'll probably need to do two rounds to get all of this pureed up Here's our vegetable medley. You can see it's extremely fine. This is not gonna take that long to saute your aromatic. So I'm gonna go in with my spices in the moment. I'll list them all right here. And here is our flavor concentrate, guys. This is so potent. My pot's on high. It's been preheating for a couple of minutes now and we're ready to go. Going with some high smoke point oil. And we're also going with some clarified butter. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. It may seem like an expensive recipe, but it's my birthday treat. Our fat is smoking, so it's time for our 
vegetable medley. And be careful, there's a lot of water, so it's going to splatter. And straight away, we're hit with that aromatic deliciousness. So, bam. Essentially what we want to be doing is we want to turn this vegetable spices into a concentrate So we're going to cook out all the water Constantly stirring this should take you know no longer than five minutes Guys the vegetables will start sticking to the bottom as the water evaporates so just keep stirring around And you'll be able to see Just how it looks when it's ready you can see this minimal water, it's almost like a sludge consistency. But that's all flavor, baby, that's all flavor. So next step, we're gonna go in with our meat of choice. I love my Jamaican beef patties, so I've got some beef mints. But you can feel free to use chicken, curry chicken, goat, whatever you want. We wanna infuse the flavors of our vegetable medley in with our mints. So we're just mixing it around, mixing it around. Ensuring none of that flavor is stuck on the bottom getting burnt. Another ingredient used in Jamaican cuisine a lot is something called browning. Again, it's almost impossible sourcing some Jamaican ingredients in New Zealand. But I've made a browning substitute. It's just caramelized sugar and we're pouring that in. It's going to give us a nice depth of flavor as well as bring us a little bit of sweetness. But you don't want too much because then it becomes bitter because it's like a heavy caramelized sugar. A little bit of soy sauce. Color and umami. Mad secret ingredient. This is some sago that's been soaking in water. It is a bit of a South African hack, but holy shit, this is my favorite mince pies made with sago. It's also gonna thicken up our filling. It's gonna really thicken up our filling. You know, there's different ways you see in my previous videos. I do flour. You can do a, a slurry cornstarch potato, but today is all about sago. And one thing when you're using sago, you have to use it, you have to hydrate it first, as well as you need to cook it out. So you can see these are super white. When they turn clear, they cooked. And this will absorb all the liquid, everything, everything. It's also a really good bulking agent if you don't have a lot of cash or anything like that but you need to fill your tummy, say goes the plate. Now that's it, I'll let this go on low heat in another 10 minutes. So this is the finished product of our filling, our beef filling. You can see all the sagos transparent and check that consistency. It's like a thick, delicious flavor bomb meat sludge and that's exactly what we want. Now we need to let this cool down to room temp before we fill our paste, pastries, our patties. And now you can just kick back, relax, whenever you want to make the patties, use your cool filling. And that's it, I'll see you in a couple hours. I'll say maybe an hour has passed, I've chucked the filling into the fridge to cool down just a little bit more. And now it's time to actually make the patties. This is what we're working with. Delicious, you can see the butter is still within the dough. And since this is so much, I'm only going to be using half at a time. I want to eat this one. And don't be afraid to, you know, generously coat it with flour because the last thing we want is for it to stick all over the place and rip. You can see how thick it is right there. So keep it nice and thin. Grab whatever you're gonna cut your shapes with. Efficiently cut your shapes. Hard enough that 
there's our shape right there. Okay, this is the extras. Any butter that's left over, try that back on. We're gonna roll this out, make more little cutouts. Simple egg wash, just eggs, a little bit of milk. It's gonna close our patties and give it a nice golden shine in the oven. Here's the cooled filling. You can see the consistency change again. All right, let's start the factory line. Got a little bit of egg wash. Don't skimp on the cheese, we need a decent amount of cheese. Fold it over, primp to close. Look at that. Look at that, that looks so beautiful. Here's the first round of the Jamaican patties going in, 220 for about 15 minutes. Don't forget to egg wash it before it goes in the oven. Get that nice shiny gloss. Can we get a thumbnail? That was so close. Oh man. So they're half of the dough cooked 15 delicious patties this size. I quite enjoy these size. Just look on the color on that. That's beautiful. Delicious, soft. These are boiling. These are boiling. I want to take a bite so bad, but I know I'm just going to absolutely burn the shit out of myself. That's way too hot. Taste test needs, <laughs> taste test needs to wait. I didn't use mozzarella cheese, so we're not gonna get that cheese pull, but you can have a look at that filling. I'm pretty happy with how the pastry turned out as well, or the dough. Ooh, man, it smells so good. I think I have to risk it. I have to risk it. No way. Guys, I'm making some absolute bangers on this channel, eh? Holy shit. I haven't had Jamaican patties. I've only had Jamaican patties once, right? And that was back in 2020. Shout out to my boy, Quan. I followed his recipe. But for this one, I think fast forward 2023, we're here. My cooking skill has increased. And this is the second time ever in my entire life I'm having Jamaican patties. And my own recipe, A taste of cake, bro. Mmm. So buttery. The, the, the crust is so buttery. It has like a nice amount of flake to it. It's not hard like cardboard. It's still quite soft. And that filling. Just don't even talk about that filling. This is like beyond. Seriously. You can have a look at the layers in between, that's all 
lake in between there and the chasm of delicious flavor the cheese is melted really nicely and just adds more richness Man. I apologize for everyone that hasn't had a Jamaican patty in their entire life this isn't traditional at all I should, I should actually call it a Jamaican inspired patty Matt's patties mm. I've hardly used any of the filling as well I'll say I still have three quarters of the thing left and that's already 15 patties busted out as well Everything's so delicious. It's like just the biggest internal hug. Regardless of if you're feeling depressed, sad, happy, good food will always do wonders to your soul, man. Totally worth it. Guys, if you haven't cooked Jamaican patties before, patties in general, or little pies, empanada, I strongly recommend give it a go. Use my recipe if you want to bust out enough for a whole double rugby team but this is killer i'm gonna finish all of these today no nah, i'm not i'm gonna love and leave you so please make sure you like share comment and subscribe if you enjoy this content annihilate the like button for me share around to all your friends and i'll see you all of you guys on the next one mm. Here we are guys, this is the finished product. And those ones over there, I've got a couple or a few short crust. This is more the traditional pastry. The traditional pastry is more of a short crust. And I tried it out with some flaky pastry, as well as the king pastry. So I'll say if I was to rate them, I prefer this one, then the short crust second, and the flaky is last. But this is the spread I made roughly, I think around 50. I've given some away now, but those experiment ones were pretty pretty fun to do, but just have a look at that. Who's coming over? Who's taking some patties home? And if you're having a patty, try a cross one. It's different, it's different. Fully prefer these though. Oh, guys, it's not yellow as well. Like, these will be yellow too, by the way. Because I didn't add turmeric to them. The pastry I had was just in the freezer. But, it's alright. Enjoy the spread. Come over, take one, two, or three. And I'll see you again.